Here are wide receiver Zach Patterson, uh, one of eight Mississippians on this, native Mississippians on this roster, may have a couple of uh, uh, honorary Mississippians on this team. But Zach, you get a chance to go home this weekend to play Southern Miss, coming off your first touchdown catch, uh, your most productive game as a demon. What kind of confidence do you take into this trip to Hattiesburg? Um, uh, taking in the confidence I had last week, you know, build on top of that, you know, come back out here and practice, work hard, and then, uh, you know, show what I did in practice on the uh, game on Saturday, you know. I realize Corinth is a, is a pretty good piece yeah. from, from Hattiesburg, yes. so it's not close, but a lot of friends and family hitting you up for tickets? All uh, right, yes, sir. They are uh, really looking forward to me to come into town, you know, come back to Mississippi, play ball. They, you know, have a lot of support by me, so, you know, everybody wants to come and watch me you know, play ball. You guys, uh, there's, there's, I believe, seven or eight of you, I can't remember the exact number, it's one of those two, that played Mississippi Junior College football before coming here. You played at East Mississippi, which obviously was made famous yeah. uh, from, from Coach Buddy Stevens and, and uh, Last Chance U. But when you, when you look at those guys, when you talk to, to Ray and to Javon and some of those guys, PJ obviously played at the same place you did, how much do you guys talk about those days and how much did those days kind of form you guys into what you are now? Uh, we uh, come around sometimes, we always joke around about, you know, about the games, you know, who won, who lost, you know, we'd probably be somebody worse than the other. But, like, at the end of the day, we're all a family, you know, we come together, you know. And JUCO, especially Mississippi JUCO, is probably one of the hardest JUCOs. So, like, you know, everybody's competitive, but at the end of the day, it's all a friendship, you know, it's all a bond. So, we're all trying to get better at the same time. So, that's really what it is. We just pick around a joke, but we're also getting each other better also on the field. Is that kind of the same thing at JUCO where it's so competitive that, yeah. you know, you're, you're fighting to mm -hmm. take the next step? Yeah, we're just really, just really competing every, each and every day, even in life, you know, you got to compete, got to compete, compete. And like I said, Mississippi JUCO is really going to bring the dog out of you because there's really some dogs in Mississippi, but, you know, people don't, people don't really, I don't think people give Mississippi no credit, but I believe, like, there's really dogs there. How, I mean, what do you think is the the JUCO? There's so many JUCOs in, in Mississippi, and I think maybe that's part of it. I think people critically may turn a, a, a bit of a, a side eye to JUCO players in a lot of ways. But did you grow up? I mean, did, obviously in Corinth, you're kind of up there yeah, near Mississippi point. State. But did you know much about JUCO football before you played? Um, I did a little bit. I, I grew up in the Northeast area, but I um, I watched a lot of Last Chance U. And I seen my buddy Stevens, like the program that he was in, I always wanted to be in a, a part of a program like that. So when I got the offer, I was like, yeah, that's where I want to be. I know I could uh, take the next step of where I want to be at in person, as a person, as me as a person, and a person I want to be on the field. So we'll go to, we'll, we'll think about Hattiesburg. Have you played anything down there at all? Have you been uh, to Hattiesburg? I have been to Hattiesburg. Okay. My uh, cousin, she stays in Hattiesburg. I know she's going to be at the game. Um, she's going to be sitting on my side, sideline. You know, she went to Southern, but yeah. Any uh, any particular memories when you cross the Mississippi River there at Natchez that's going to come flooding back going back home? Uh, just being happy to see my friends, you know, family, all the people that's going to be at the game, you know, supporting me. Uh, Saturday when we go play against Southern Miss, we're both uh, coming off losses. So, you know, we're both going to be competitive in this game. We will both be looking for our first wins. Going to feel like a home game in some ways for you? Uh, somewhat, you know, but, you know. It's still gonna be an away game. The crowd's gonna be against us, so we gotta lock in this week. You know, like I said, we come, we're both coming off uh, two losses, so we're both gonna be looking for a win. It's gonna be a hard fought game at the end of the day. Both very hungry. Yes. All right, Zach. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.